If one has the necessary awareness, they could observe on which day your body doesn't need food. Every other creature knows this. Unfortunately, human beings have forgotten because their thought process or their silly mind has superimposed every other sense they have in their system. If you observe your system, you will see on a particular day, you don't feel like eating. That day you should not eat. But no, you are at your friend's house, there is a party, you stuff yourself, even if your body says no, you stuff yourself. You see all the animals, even if you have a dog at home, on a certain day he refuses to eat, both dogs and cats. Have you noticed this? He will go and eat some blades of grass if it's available and puke and cleanses himself, because he is conscious that ingestion is continuously happening, but digestion and excretion is not as efficient as ingestion. Ingestion is happening compulsively, but other parts need to work. Other dimensions of digestive process needs to work. When we say digestion, digestion happens in the whole alimentary canal, not just in the stomach. And assimilation also happens across the entire alimentary canal. Now, excretion doesn't happen only through the alimentary canal, excretion needs to happen on the cellular level also. Impurities gather over a period of time and you become dense both in body and head. <laughs> if you don't cleanse yourself, then uh, it'll pile up over a period of time. But then our confidence fluctuates every day, so what do you have to say about that? Because I don't have any confidence about anything, I just have clarity. People think I have knowledge. No, my head is empty. That's why to make it little look, look little substantial, I have a turban. <laughs> it's totally empty always. But I have clarity. Clarity means what? You see things the way they are. Knowledge means what? You have fixed information about everything. If things have changed, you will not see it the way it is. That's as good as being blind. See, people think owls are blind. It's not true. Their vision is far more sensitive than yours. But because of sunlight, they're blinded because it's too much. When light goes down, he sees very clearly. Not because he's blind, because his eyes are super sensitive. So, it's important that you bring clarity to your life, not knowledge. Because knowledge is conclusions that you gather. Knowledge is okay when you're trying to do something physical, material in the world, but not with life. In my life, be it business negotiations or even in marriage or even raising kids or career decisions, how do I know what is it that works? You're married and you want to know what works. <laughs> See, you must be like God, <laughs> that you are a silent partner, <laughs> then it works. <laughs> Just like God, whatever anybody does, just learn to be like God, never intervene in anything. Every day in the morning, Every kind of idiot will tell you what you should do today. You just listen, <laughs> just like God. <laughs> Marriage will work. It may not work with your profession. See, uh, you're misunderstanding this. You're trying to make this into some kind of a value system. You're trying to make it your philosophy, I will do only what works. Well, you took a oath, I will do only what works, now you don't know what works. <laughs> because what, we, what works will not come with a oath or a commandment. What works comes with constant observation and evolution of who you are, isn't it? Hello? The same things, 
how you made them work, how clumsily you made something work ten years ago, the same thing you may be doing it with ease today, isn't it so? Or you may be doing it clumsily today, you were doing it well at one time, whichever way, whichever kind of evolution has happened. Are the injustices and unfairnesses that one faces in one's life a result of their past karma? Uh, Samantha, you're old enough for this. I'm not saying you're old, I said you're old enough <laughs> Uh, that, do you still expect the world to be fair to you? That's why I'm asking this question <laughs> the, that is Can I blame it on my past karma is what I'm asking. I want the world to be fair to me is a schoolgirl question. <laughs> By now you should know the world is not fair, it will not be fair to you. But. If you dig deep into yourself and have a taste of life, not a taste of your thought and emotion, the taste of life that you are, then you will see life is not just fair, it's just fantastic. So do you want fair life or fantastic life, you must decide. happens, people suffer. If nothing happens, they will suffer. If they are poor, they suffer their poverty. You make them rich, they'll suffer the taxes. They are not educated, they suffer that. Put them to school, endless suffering. Not married, they will suffer that. Get them married <laughs> I did not say anything. Just tell me one aspect of life that human beings are not suffering. They are suffering every aspect. So offer them death, that will also they will suffer. So suffering is not because of the nature of life. Suffering is because of the complexity of the mind which you did not care to understand. If you had the brain of an earthworm, you would be fine. Hello? Peaceful, eco-friendly also, because that's a great aspiration in California <laughs> The only life which is struggling to be eco-friendly is brilliant. <laughs> Earthworm knows, a grasshopper knows, a lizard and a snake knows how to be eco-friendly. This most evolved creature on the planet is struggling to be eco-friendly. Yes or no? So, uh, the problem is complexity of possibilities. Possibilities are the greatest blessing we have, but unfortunately that's what we are suffering because when something very possible and powerful is given to you, if you don't handle it right, it'll blow up in your face. That's all that's happening. How do you know how to handle it? That's why I'm here. All right. <laughs>